Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, uh, this is Angel again, and as I promised, um, I was gonna put a, upload another video. Uh, this is an update. Uh, it's been about uh, two weeks since I uh, posted my first video, and um, here it is. Um, <clears throat> one thing I didn't include on my video, on my last video, is that um, I also have uh, planted some uh, hot peppers on. Uh, in pots as you can see uh, this one here is the uh, Carolina Reaper is doing actually better than the uh, uh, Reapers that I have planted on the ground uh, this one here is already starting to develop uh, many flowers uh, this one here um, uh, because I um, I saw some uh, videos on YouTube about how to uh, take care of uh, pepper plants uh, this one here has also been uh, tapped uh, I chopped the, uh, the some of some of the uh, top of it and because of uh, because of that right now the uh, plant is very bushy as you can see and I'm very very happy about this plant very excited and I know this one here is gonna be able to produce uh, lots of uh, Carolina Reapers um, this one here next to it is the uh, uh, Trinidad Moruga scorpion. Uh, this one here, I also have it uh, have it on uh, in a pot. This one here is also doing very good. Um, I didn't include this one in my video, but uh, as you can see, this one has uh, lots of uh, buzz already. Um, as you can see, this one here has um, already uh, plenty of uh, Moruga scorpions. Uh, these peppers here are gonna be very very super delicious uh, I think I'm gonna have a um, maybe one or two just kidding <laughs> I'm not really really a, a pepper lover but um, just because I've been waiting for so long uh, like I said on my last video I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> eat a couple of those uh, I don't know how but um, um, I think I'm gonna go for it this one here uh, has at least, at least about more than 30 um, peppers already. And as you can see, they look, these are very, very beautiful buds. Very nice looking peppers. Um, this little branch right here has about six of them. Uh, incredible. I remember my, the uh, very first uh, Maruga scorpion that I saw about two weeks ago. I was very excited about it. Now it's only been uh, two weeks and uh, oh my goodness, this is uh, what a big difference. I didn't even realize I had so many uh, peppers. Um, I'm very proud of them because uh, it's very hard to grow anything up here in, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, Antelope Valley. Uh, I'm, I'm in the high desert here in California, Lancaster. Uh, you can ask anybody, it's very hard to grow anything up here. But um, very hard for these uh, uh, pepper plants. Uh, this is the first time I do it. Uh, I don't do this for business. I do it for hobby. Uh, just like anybody else. Just like anybody uh, on YouTube. I really once again encourage uh, anybody to uh, upload videos. Uh, I really love to see uh, uh, people uploading uh, pictures of uh, their uh, projects. And what better than something very natural as uh, growing uh, hot peppers. Once again, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And I'll be very happy to, uh, to, uh, to reply. Uh, back here, uh, it's a very weird looking uh, 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 Maruga scorpion. Very weird shape. But... Uh, Man, I can't wait for them to turn red and so I can eat them. Uh, in the same pot, I have planted some um, uh, orange habanero. And this one here is also doing really good. Uh, I planted them right next to my Maruga scorpions. And this uh, orange habanero is actually doing pretty good. I'm also very happy to see what's going to happen to them. Uh, once again, uh, if you have any comments, uh, please uh, leave comments below and I'll be very happy to reply. Uh, I'm not doing anything special to grow these peppers. Uh, it's just uh, very simple. Um, 
uh, Miracle Grow, and I have uh, mixed a little bit, a little bit of uh, 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 compound. And here, as you can see, more peppers. These are all uh, orange habanero that I bought from uh, on eBay. Uh, these plants here have all been. Uh, I started everything from seed uh, back in January, sometime at the beginning of it. Now this pot right here, I also have some orange habanero. As you can see, has lots of peppers, uh, and that's all I have on this pot. Uh, three orange habanero and they're all doing pretty good uh, these also I got them from um, on eBay from uh, someone who was selling them very expensive by the way but uh, I'm very excited to see uh, once they start changing colors this pepper right here this plant uh, somebody uh, gave me um, uh, some seeds and uh, they told me that this one here is a uh, ghost pepper. Now, I'm kind of confused because uh, I know for a fact that this is not the, uh, the seed that I bought from, uh, off of eBay, uh, the, of my uh, Carolina Reapers. My friend uh, told me that this is supposed to be a uh, ghost pepper. Now, I'm kind of confused because the leaf of this pepper is huge. Just like the, um, the like the one on the um, uh, Carolina Reaper. Uh, in fact, I next door right here to the left, I have a uh, Carolina Reaper. Now this I know for a fact, 100% sure that this is a Carolina Reaper. Now if I look at the leaf, it looks just like that leaf right there. So I'm kind of confused because. Um, it's very possible that my friend might have been my mistaking. Um, and um, I think what I got here is probably a uh, Carolina Reaper, but um, I'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's already got some uh, flowers uh, developing. Um, if you ask me, uh, this plant just looks just like the uh, Carolina Reaper. and. Uh, I guess all we have to do is just wait and see uh, what happens. But once again, if you guys have any questions, any comments about this plant, I would love to uh, uh, hear from you from your re replies. But uh, if you ask me, that leaf and that leaf right there looks almost identical. This one here is a little bit more pointier than this one but uh, we'll see what happens this Carolina Reaper right here is also producing um, uh, lots of peppers uh, once again uh, all these plants I uh, I, um, I kept them from uh, when they were when they were only about four inches tall I kept them just like they I was uh, advised on YouTube and here they are this plant right here I kept it about Say about two weeks ago and now you can see that it has some uh, uh, shoots coming from the side and uh, very very soon maybe in two more weeks this plant right here is going to look very very bushy this one I have planted it on a very small pot uh, just for experiment and a leftover uh, I had so many so many plants from seed that I've been growing since uh, January I just had too many so I didn't know what to do with them, so here it is. I've been doing lots of experiments, and this is one of them. This one is coming up actually pretty, very, very good. Now, last week, uh, actually about two weeks ago, I made a video about uh, my uh, Carolina Reapers. Uh, this one that I'm uh, that you have on the screen right now is one of the first uh, Carolina Reapers that I planted. Uh, on the ground as you can see these are actually planted on the ground comparing to my um, The ones that I planted on pots uh, Actually, you know what to be honest with you. I don't see any difference between 
these and the ones that I have in pots. This one here, you can see the leaves are just beautiful. They have this beautiful green color and the leaves are just uh, very big. Once again, I uh, cannot believe how uh, big the leaves on this pepper jar. This is a uh, Carolina Reaper. Uh, this is an update from uh, the last video that I posted about two weeks ago. This one here is my um, uh, orange habanero. Uh, it's doing pretty good. The only difference about between this video, video today, and the last one is that the uh, these peppers are already uh, starting to uh, change colors. Now this one is supposed to be an orange habanero, but yet peppers are turning red. So I don't know what's going on here. Uh, maybe they lied to me on eBay. But uh, all I know is that these are habaneros. Um, very excited about this plant. It has uh, produced uh, many, many peppers, as you can see. Uh, can't wait to have one of those. I'm not a pepper lover myself, uh, but uh, once again, I've been, I've been waiting for so long that I'm going to have me a couple of, of those. This one here to the right, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this one is another one of my um, Trinidad, Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. And to the right here is another, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the um, uh, orange habanero. Uh, so you can see the plant is very bushy because I've been uh, tapping uh, these plants uh, since they were very small. Uh, just like a, I saw some videos on YouTube and it really works. Um, tapping your plants uh, is very painful. I never done that to my plants before, but this year I did it. I've been tapping about at least about two inches from the top, and that is uh, um, making a big difference. Look at this little plant right here that I have never, uh, that I haven't tapped compared to this one. It's just the difference is just very big. Uh, this one here, actually, I didn't tap it. It's just going straight up. It's growing straight up. It's gonna, I'm sure it's going to be a very big plant. But as you can see, it's not going to produce as many fruits as this one right here. So makes a big difference uh, tapping uh, your plants. And um, as you can see, you don't want that. Trust me, you do not want that. That plant is just going to grow so tall and it's going to produce very uh, little amount of peppers. Now, this one right here is another plant that I tapped uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, if you uh, check my other video that I posted about two weeks ago, uh, you can see the big difference. Right now, this one is already uh, uh, starting to develop uh, new shoots coming from the side, and uh, it just looks so, so much different and the last time uh, about two weeks ago once again I'm not using anything special no special fertilizers nothing fancy just uh, some uh, miracle grow uh, this is actually for garden miracle grow that I used very cheap um, I didn't really spend so much money on these plants and I'm very excited about the results uh, once again this is an update from my previous video video if you want to uh, check it out you can do that and once again I also encourage uh, all of those uh, that also like this hobby to upload vid upload videos on YouTube and uh, it's really good because uh, we all get ideas I would have never gotten this far if I did not uh, watch those videos from other other people that that know about to grow peppers see right there that little plant that's the results uh, when you don't uh, follow directions and this right here is the results when you do follow directions and put it in practice.